Good morning, Jen here. Welcome to the channel. I am super excited about a couple things today. Um, one is that I'm on the XT250 and I haven't been on this bike in months. Uh, Dave just put some new uh, Tusk D Sport tires on it. It's the same tires that he's rocking on his bike. He really likes them. They are more aggressive than the tires that I have on the Himalayan. So I'm gonna give these a try today and see how they do. It looks like we might get some rain this morning, which I am super stoked about because we haven't had rain in, I don't even know how long, but it's been too long. So join us today and we'll see what we can get into. just coming up on the town of Gunlock and I just wanted to let you know my thoughts so far on the tires on the asphalt. Um, if you hadn't have told me they were there I would have known that they were there. Uh, they are more aggressive obviously than what I have been riding on the Himalayan. Uh, they, they're a little bumpy but honestly not as bad as I expected them to be. The ride has still been fairly smooth and I'm kind of enjoying riding the XT today. Uh, she's definitely a lighter bike. You can, I mean, it almost feels like I'm riding a pedal bike compared to the Himalayan, honestly. She's still a, a pretty, pretty comfortable bike. Um, comfort in the way that I can put my feet, put both my feet on the ground and she still doesn't have a super high center of gravity so I don't feel top heavy or anything like that, but there's definitely differences um, in comfort the seat and I do feel a lot more crunched up than I do on the Himalayan but this bike has its purpose for us um, it's more of an off-road bike so we're gonna gonna use that today hopefully we're able to do the ride that we wanted to do we may get rained out so we will see about that uh, uh. maybe some rain today Buenos dias, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. Jenna's behind me. She is rocking the XT250 today. I am, of course, on my Honda 300L. And our plan is to do a little exploring out in the southwestern Utah desert. So, what we're thinking is... There's a couple springs, one of them being Grapevine Spring. Uh, I forget the name of the other. Actually, there's three springs out in the general area. Uh, we're gonna get on the dirt here shortly and see if we can get up to a spring. It's a kind of a maze of dirt roads. And we're not sure, I don't, I, I seriously doubt any of these roads are signed. By signed, I mean half signs. Um, maybe there's some numbers. We're not really sure, but we're gonna go have a look. We're gonna be kind of running parallel to a wash. I think it's called Tobin Wash. And we're gonna run the dirt road that parallels that for a bit. And then we're gonna try and figure out one of the roads that uh, gets you up to Grapevine Spring. And we were looking at it on Google Earth. It looks like you break off the main dirt road and it gets, it'll probably get a little interesting. This is one of the reasons why we're on the lighter bikes today. And uh, it looks like once you break off the main dirt road into the secondary dirt road to get to Grapevine Springs, it looks like you've got to cross washes or small washes. I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna take an exploratory ride out there and have a look, see what we get into. Also, on the XT250, I just switched out the tires. Jen's riding on a brand new pair of Tusk D Sports. I took the Kenda 270s off. 
Not that I didn't like the Kendas, I did, but I like the Tusk D Sports better. That's what I have on this bike. And I think they're a pretty good tire for uh, riding on the asphalt and uh, getting in the dirt. So she's probably gonna talk about that a little bit while she's on it. She's gotta get used to riding that XT again. She's been on the Himalayan for quite a while now. So there's gonna be a bit of a different ride <laughs> for sure. And I think we're here. Isn't this it or the next one? Next one? Okay. How was the first little ride on the D Sports? Um, it was good. It was um, not as, I, I thought it was gonna be squirrelier, but it really wasn't. I could I could tell they were there. There's like more friction and maybe a little bit of bumpiness. They're not bad. But no, they're they're okay on the asphalt. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, well, if we run into some rain and get into some mud, you'll be happy you got them on. Those Kinda 270s would suck up the mud and you'd have no traction. Huh. I don't think it'd be quite as bad on these, but our mud out here in southwestern Utah is a little different. It's peanut butter, really. Yeah, it's like clay mud. Yeah, it's it's actually quite terrible. <laughs> All right, so we just need to ride up here. And now we're on track. All right, so to my left there, I believe that's Tobin Wash. So that's where we're going to ride up. And Jen apparently has been to one of the springs out here, so I don't know. Uh, I think the main the main dirt road here is going to be pretty well traveled, wide. I think you can run this. We were looking at it, and I think you can run this all the way up into the uh, the Dock Pass Wilderness, which uh, I've been into creek riding in that XC250. Awesome area. So we're gonna cruise on up on this and see what we can get into. Wow, looks like it's already rained up here. All right, here we go. This is the beginning of our dirt road adventure for today. Huh, looks like uh, this road has already seen a little bit of water recently, so that's not something I was expecting. So I haven't been on the dirt road for very long yet, but uh, so far these tires are feeling pretty good. Um, definitely a little bit uh, squirrelier than I'm used to on the Himalayan. Yeah, the shift lever in this bike is, uh, it's so slight that uh, I can barely feel if I've shifted or not. I just have to kind of let out the clutch and, and listen to the sound and see if I'm where I want to be. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting, but I have, I am able to shift standing up on this bike. It's not quite as comfortable as the Himalayan, but it's, uh, it's not bad. So. Uh, ride's going good so far. Beautiful day to ride down here, man. You just don't get very many of these. Sky's all dark and scary. <laughs> So we started pretty early in the morning. It's just, that's what we have to do this time of year. It's late July. Today the high is supposed to be, oh, I don't know, like 101 or something, uh, which is actually a little cooler than it has been. It's, it's been like 110, 113 out here. So getting a ride in is early morning, as early as possible. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the road's wet. So it's rained here recently. Which is good, man, we need some rain so bad. We just don't see very much of it. But that's one of the one things you gotta kinda be aware of. Uh, this time of year when the monsoon season traditionally begins, you get caught out here in a good one. Well, if you're not familiar with it, in the desert, when the rain really comes down really hard and really fast, everything comes apart. And the flash floods out here are a real deal they can and will ruin your day so uh, we'll just kind of keep a an eye towards that but i think we'll be all right we're climbing up this dirt road like i said there's a whole mecca of dirt roads out here and we don't really know where we're going so we're kind of looking for this like hairpin turn in the road it's like a 90 degree and then we're gonna plan on taking a left there uh, but i mean who knows where we're gonna end up we'll end up somewhere <laughs> 
All right, so I'm looking for a big hairpin turn. This might be it, like a 90 degree. Uh, that's a pretty good one there. Pretty sure that is it. Let's stop, see what Jim thinks. Do you think that was that hairpin turn? It's 90 degree? It does seem a little soon. But we were supposed to continue that way anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. I keep riding. One thing about the roads out here, there's lots of them. Lots of dirt roads. Got a main drag and it just breaks off into these secondary dirt roads. Mm, I haven't been up in this area before, so. Well, actually I have been to the, I guess you could say to the west of here would be uh, the Motakwa area but I haven't been in this particular spot before, so it's new to me. And the thing about it is, is you could, I mean, I, yeah, you could get lost, but if you just have enough gas, you can usually just ride yourself out of it. So we've both got over a hundred miles of range on a tank and we're both carrying spare fuel. So I think we'll be okay in that department. Hmm. So we're gonna go to the top of this hill. I wonder if we missed our turn. It doesn't really matter, honestly. <laughs> it's just nice to be out for a ride on the dirt in the cool morning. Ah, we're going way up there. Oh, we do got some signage here. Bull Valley ATV Trail. Well, that sounds kind of interesting. I think this was further to the east. So we should go back and take that turn, huh? It ain't going anywhere, so we can definitely come back and do that. That might be a good Dawn Patrol ride. That, yeah, I don't know. Let's turn around and go back and get out in the bush, see what we run into. All right, we rode up to whatever that is. It says the Vail Compressor Station. I still don't really know what that is. <laughs> so we're gonna turn around because we think that we missed our turn uh, actually way back there. It looks like we have found what we think is the road we want to be on. So let's see where she takes us. So one of the reasons I'm super happy to be on the XT today is because uh, we haven't been out here before and I'm anticipating the terrain to be a little hairier than I want to get the Himalayan into. So until I figure out how to, you know, turn her around, if I get her into situations where I have to turn around on a small area or pick her up if I lay her down. So the XT is much lighter, much more nimble, way easier to handle by yourself. This road has already proven to be a hoot. 
<laughs> this is a hoot. All right, so the tires are shining in this. Uh, the the dirt is kind of deep, and these these tires are just plowing through it. These are definitely going to be better in the sand than uh, than the ones I have on the Himalayan. <laughs> starting to look pretty gnarly off in the distance weather wise Ooh, yeah look at that yeah there's some rain out there what's going on <laughs> this is a hoot. you're having a good time yeah these tires are fun like i just yeah they're good they're better than the kinda 270s well, yeah, I uh, thought so. I, we've gone through some kind of deeper dirt. Have you noticed? Yeah. No, not really. Well, you wouldn't notice because you're used to driving with these tires on. Oh, yeah. You've been used to driving in the tires I'm used to driving. On the Himalayan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd notice. Yeah. <laughs> the Himalayan would have sunk down in that. And it, you know, I mean, it's not been that bad, but I can already tell that these are going to be better in the sand. For sure. Perfect, perfect. Good. How are those uh, Tusk Panniers doing? don't even know they're there. So. Okay, well that's good. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, I just I just put on uh, the Tusk Traverse panniers, so a little tail bag, heat shield, new tires. We're getting this XT all modded out, man. Yeah. It's a pretty, it's a nice little dirt demon there. <laughs> so we just stopped and took a break and I was talking to Dave about like the deeper dirt and stuff and he's like, oh yeah, I didn't really notice. I mean, he'll notice right here because this is definitely some deeper dirt kind of sandy stuff and these tires are doing amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is a hoot. So we got, uh, we've got service out here, so I pulled up the topo and we're right on it. Can you see? Yeah. That's the arrow. We're the arrow? Yeah. We're not far from Grapevine Spring. Cool. Man, I thought it was going to be harder to find. Yeah, well, I mean, it probably would have. There's all kinds of roads circling, but it's raining up there in the hills. Man, I can see a road going all the way. What? This is cool out here, man. There's just roads everywhere. <laughs> this takes you over to Motaqua yeah. in that area. So, ooh, yeah, that's rain. I can smell it. It smells great. It smells heavenly. Hey, what? This road is pretty fun. Pretty twisty. I don't know. It must have been. It looks like it's been graded somewhat recently. Alright, we're gonna stay left here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be. I'm gonna stop up here and check the phone again with a map. I think we're pretty close to the spring. Well, what do you know? What is this? Whenever you're out here and you find this, this is probably where the spring is. Yep. I don't see any no trespassing signs. Oh, well, there's Grapevine Spring. <laughs> This is an interesting little place. I I Found the spring. Huh? That's the spring. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we found it. Yeah. Figured if, as soon as I saw any type of structure, I was like, oh yeah, that's probably the spring. Welcome to Grapevine Spring, Jen. I'm actually not sure if this is Grapevine, because there were the two springs. This might be the other one. Oh, yeah, You that's should look right. at the map and see. That's right. Let's have a look real quick. Oh, this is not Grapevine Spring. This is Oak Patch Spring. There we go. Well, whoops. <laughs> so let's see, where's Grapevine? It's just a little farther up. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. We need to go. So there we uh, are. Well, we, it looks like we could really go either way. Yeah. Well, we need, we'd have to go back out and take a right, but we can stay left and that'll take us to Grapevine up there. So I guess we should continue on to Grapevine. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I thought it was Grapevine, but I forgot there was another one. <laughs> and then there's another one too that I think is up a little further. You no, know, it was off to the right there. Yeah. Cedar Spring. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to get back on the bikes then and ride up and... Get to Grapevine, that's, that's the that's spring. The that's the goal, to get it to Grapevine, but there you have it. Get to this. Looks like the cattle like this spot. They're all in it. Pretty cool. Happy cows. Yeah. It's a story with this building. I don't see any no trespassing signs, so. Yeah. Presuming everyone's welcome to walk in this. Oh. Except you can't get in it. Oh, there we go. Do I want to get in it? I don't know. This is how some horror movies start. Oh, this thing's old. <laughs> old, old, old. I'm being cautious because I feel like I'm going to bump on a wasp nest or something. Huh. Well, that's kind of dingy. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Wow is right. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. There's a Budweiser Zero can. Well, there you have it. How old do you suppose that stove is? Oh, man, that's something from like the 30s. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty old. I was gonna say turn of the century you stuff. Put, like coal in it to heat the. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. It's yeah. Nice it's still here. Yeah, I know, right? Well, there you have it. Let's get on down the road to Grapevine. We are gonna take this road now. Try this next road. Whoa, what's, what's, what's that? That is no bueno. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> I think we got a washed out road. See the road crosses all those, that drainage right there. So if we go back out, hook a left, it'll take us to the same spot. Okay. We'll give it a shot. All right, headed out to take yet another road. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Let's give this one a shot. All right, I think this is the road I almost went down anyways when we decided to stay left. But I'm glad we did because then we got to see that other spring, which I think is more significant than Grapevine Spring. We are on the right path, or the right road. Okay. This road should put us right where we want to be. Nice tight turns there. Whew. A 
lot of country out here. I think we got a road coming up on our right and that's where the spring is. At least that's what the topo is showing. So we don't have much farther. There's all that green right there. So that's where the spring is. Kind of unmistakable out here. See some vibrant green and you can pretty much presume there's some agua right there. Can you tell there's a spring up ahead? I'll give you a clue. Big green trees. <laughs> I believe we have arrived at Grapevine Spring. A little humid out here, eh, Jen? Yeah, yeah very humid. We come back just to uh, have a look at grapevine spring we know where we are we really do well looks like it's uh, pretty heavily mineralized by that color down there you know oh yeah I wonder if it's potable you think it's drinkable I have no idea I even stuck some springs you can't even filter yeah there's a frog down there. I'll go in the desert. Gotta love that. Wow, that's pumping out a lot of water. It's quite a bit. Well, one thing uh, the moon boots are good for is uh, snake protection, huh? That's true. Yeah, these things go almost up to my knees. Well, gotta keep a really wary eye for snakes. All right, it's getting funky in here. You want to find the head? No, nah, it's not necessary. Maybe when it's like cooler weather. <laughs> it's actually feels pretty good though. Yeah. But it looks like it gets really thick up there, like jungle thick. So I'm okay. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. All right, well. There you have it, Grapevine Spring. There's a lot of agua pumping out of that thing, huh? I'm not, I don't know if it's potable. Let's see if we can find out. Yeah, I mean, the other spring, geez, there was, obviously was potable. But this, I don't know. I know in the Grand Canyon sometimes, there are springs that uh, you can't filter from. They'll make you really ill. So you got to kind of be careful. Even filtering doesn't get the mineralization out and it'll get you pretty sick if you drink it, even filtered. So there's a couple things to be wary of. In the desert. <laughs> Quick little granola bar and some agua and then we're back on the road out of here. Good call on Grapevine Spring, Jen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's some rain, eh? Yeah, Feels good. Yeah, it is absolutely fantastic to ride. Such a, such a nice change of scenery from the just scalding heat. Oh man, it's awesome. All right, well, Grapevine Spring accomplished. You ready to ride back? Yeah, I'm ready to ride. Let's do it. All right then, here we go.
Jen, it's raining. Oh, no. <laughs> it's pouring rain. Whoa. Woohoo! All right. I think we're going to have some fun now. Well, I'm cooled off. That's for sure. It's Ooh, it is dumping out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's right where we got to go. <laughs> Sweet. Man, we'll take every drop of this we can get. This is fantastic. All right, we get to ride in the rain today. <laughs> so this will be fun. <laughs> Actually, my last experience riding in the rain was quite fun, so. Uh, here we go. It's coming down pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say, so far, my only drawback to riding in the rain is that my uh, face shield is getting all blurry and fogged up. So I'll have to open that up probably here pretty soon, but... Just a little bit of the rain on a road like this makes the dirt quite nice. Makes it sticky. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, it smells so good. All right, it looks like we're ahead of the rain right now, but give us a couple turns and we're gonna be turning right into it. So we're gonna scooch on down this road rather quickly. Oh, it is. It is dumping out there. You see behind us? Man, that's some that's some ogle right there. It is coming down. It's coming right here, isn't it? Yeah, we're we're ahead of it. Well, we're going to turn and get back into it, aren't we? Yeah. Oh boy. All right, that's a lot of agua there. We need to get moving. I don't want to be out on the dirt with that, do you? No. Yeah, that's... All right, let's go. That is a lot of water coming down right there. So we're gonna have a slight sense of urgency about this and try and get off the dirt here before we get into that storm. Uh, a little bit of blue sky right there. I don't know, we might, we might miss that storm <clears throat> or the brunt of it on our way back. but we're almost off the dirt here and we've made it back to the asphalt all right man it's just sheets of rain back there I think I think it's going we're gonna miss it it's heading the other opposite direction yeah for sure wow that's a lot of rain coming down over there yeah. awesome Heck yeah. yeah i can use a lot more than that all right well make our way back to st george yeah, I guess. <laughs> very nice where they have it folks grapevine springs desert riding monsoons new tusk d sport tires they're awesome yeah they are great off-road tires I have to agree. And they do. They work fine on the asphalt, too. Yeah, they do. They really do. Perfect. How'd the uh, Tusk Panniers, the Traverse Panniers? Didn't even notice they were there. Didn't notice, and they're carrying my stuff, so. Perfect, perfect. Any final thoughts? Man, I had a great day on the XT today. It's been a long time, and yeah. I'm happy I rode it. It's a fun bike. It's so much easier to turn around than yeah. big old bikes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these light bikes out there, man. Yeah, you can't beat them, sure. for sure absolutely folks thank you very much for watching stay safe out there we will see you next time d-rock out, out. adios